Perfect. Hi, everybody. This is Matt from Healthy Framework. Today, I'm very excited to be joined by Mara Rudolph, founder and CEO of Weaver Dating. Mara, thank you so much for joining. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Well, let's jump right into it. Can you tell me what separates Weaver Dating from the rest of the rest of the dating apps out there? So Weaver is the first and only dating app based off of core values, and it alerts users to red flags and deal breakers before the first message. The interesting thing about that is um, most relationship-focused apps are based off of personality and interest-based compatibility. Um, and within the past eight years, studies have come out basically disproving the efficacy of that. Basically, it doesn't correlate at all with long-term relationship satisfaction. Um, and nobody has ever really delved deep. That means kind of defining them. Um, and so there was no really pre-existing set of questions that targeted core values, except like all the dating experts, all the relationship experts in the space time and time again talked about how vital it is to vet your partners, your dates based off of your core values and making sure those align. Um, and so that's essentially why I created Weaver um, and all that. I'm very fascinated about relationship science. Yeah, no, that's awesome. And I like the different approach that you're taking versus kind of the standard uh, set that's really unique. I like that. Uh, if somebody's inquiring or, or looking, how would you describe that ideal customer that Weaver Dating is designed for? So definitely daters who are sick and tired of kind of their experiences that they've had on the existing dating apps. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of kind of fatigue, uh, superficiality has become very like pervasive um, in a lot of the apps, even the apps that, you know, are supposed to be for more kind of like serious daters. Um, so Weaver was really for those intentional daters who are really trying to find long-term partners, uh, people who are kind of sick of wasting their time, go carrying on con conversations that don't end up you know, going anywhere or ending in meeting the person. And they want to know immediately when they see a profile, how does that person actually, you know, align with them on the deeper things, not just are they attractive, look at their photos, what are their interests, um, what do they say about them in their bio, that doesn't really get you any deeper and tell you a lot about that person. So those yeah. are kind of who we're trying to attract. That makes sense. And I think to your point by being able to go a little deeper and, and understand or align on those core values, it can save time because perhaps you match and you spend all this time chatting and then realize there's essentially a deal breaker that your app, it seems, can help. Well, I know nope, let's move along essentially. So that's kind of nice. It seems it could be a great time saver. Uh, yeah, but, exactly. Excellent. Uh, what would you say is one area that you feel Weaver Dating could be doing a better job on? Yeah, so I think right now where we are, uh, awareness is really big. I think just in terms of getting new daters on the app, we're still growing. We're still somewhat small. So that's an area that we're always trying to improve in. Um, and you know, along the same lines, there's a lot of kind of uh, improvements that are planned or in the works that haven't been implemented yet. So, you know, uh, as we're early on, there are some user experience improvements that are planned but haven't been done yet. So I think that's a big, big room for improvement um, that we can you know, delve deeper in once we grow. Yeah, and that makes sense. I mean, you guys are are still relatively young compared to some of the other ones out there. So I'm sure with time, you guys will continue to make those updates and refinements. Yeah. Perfect. 
Uh, so changing gears a little bit, uh, a hot button, which I think unless you've been under a rock, uh, people are aware of the buzz, so to speak, but is AI technology, right? It's been the really hot button for the last six months to a year at this point. Is Weaver Dating using AI technology at all? And if not, do you have plans to use it in the future? Yeah, I love this question because I think there is such massive, massive potential for AI. Weaver isn't currently utilizing AI, but I've definitely thought about how it can be used to basically improve the experiences across all dating apps, specifically in terms of safety, um, helping prevent scams. I think um, inappropriate content. I think that's really a big area that AI can drive a lot of advancement and improvement, making sure everybody they are is who they say they are. Yeah. Um, and that everyone is having a safe, good, happy experience yeah. on the apps. Yeah, no, that makes sense. And sticking along the same lines, uh, but looking more dating industry as a whole, uh, I think you just listed a lot of really positive things in terms of AI technology and the potential impact, but uh, do you foresee any potential concerns for the dating industry as a whole when it comes to AI technology? Yeah, uh, I think a big, not like a concern, but something I see a lot of the times when you know leadership within dating app companies focus a little bit too much on business and flashiness um, and how to attract attention um, because they're doing like the newest, flashiest, trendiest thing. Um, I think they can take AI a step too far mm -hmm. and actually remove the genuine connection element that is so important with dating apps and finding partners and creating those budding relationships. Yep. And I think when AI starts to be used as like uh, a conversation helper, but then you see it and like, they're not even writing their own messages. The AI is, they're using generative AI to write their own messages. And then you're not even really talking to a human anymore. You're yeah. talking to a bot. Yeah. Um, and so you're not forming genuine, real, like person to person conversation connections. Um, and I, so I think that's where it can kind of be taken a step too far. Yeah, no, that makes uh, perfect sense. Like as if you're out on an actual date, eventually the- It's all you. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Like, it's hang all on, you. Uh, let me see what the app says, uh, I should say. Yeah, um, yeah no, that, those are all very uh, valid points there. Um, Kind of along those same lines, and you just mentioned a second ago, scams, but, you know, for us, we're seeing romance scams on the rise across the United States. How does Weaver Dating combat this growing problem? Yeah, so right now, in order to prevent bots coming on the app, the way that we kind of confirm that you're a real person, we do phone number verification, um, and then on top of that, once the person has completed their profiles, we do manual reviews just to make sure that all the photos are to standard, are quality, that there's no inappropriate content in terms of inappropriate photos or what they're saying in their profile. And so those are the steps that we take currently. Um, and of course, we have reporting systems within the app. Um, if a user has kind of a shady experience with someone, there's a way to block people and, and report that. And of course, we're alerted and review everything and kind of take everything super seriously because dating is like a very vulnerable thing. You're putting yourself out there. Um, and so we want to be really careful with that. Yeah, no, that makes total sense. It, it does get touchy with people's personal lives, but it yeah. sounds like you guys have some great kind of checks and balances in place. So I'm sure those will develop more with time to get you. Yes, it, it's yeah. a tough, it's a tough issue, especially when like the safest thing you could do is kind of check people's like social security numbers and make sure like their criminal history and right. make sure that everybody on the app is clean and and good and um, everything like that. But 
unfortunately that's like a very hard thing to circumvent yeah, yeah no it makes sense and i think you guys already have some great uh, systems in place at this point with everything so that's awesome so obviously and we've touched on this a bit uh, weaver dating is quite new uh, and we've heard that one of the hardest things for a new dating app is getting that first critical mass of users how are you guys going about acquiring those initial customers at this point yeah, so everything is organic efforts. Um, we've been very, very lucky um, launching basically in the Tampa Bay area as we did. We were able to gain a lot of free press, which was extremely valuable. That was kind of how we solidified our initial base um, user base. Yep. Um, and from there, we started doing some low budget paid ads on social media. We started seeing trickles of people coming in from there. And then also just organic efforts of posting TikTok videos and being on and engaged on social media. And so that's kind of been the extent of our marketing efforts. Yeah. Um, until we get external funding um, in like a seed round or something, that then that would be really helpful to kind of boost and really attack, get a more aggressive growth strategy in place in terms yeah. of marketing. No, that's great though. The free press and everything. I, I know they say like no press is bad press or whatever, but it sounds like you got some amazing free press, which really helps spread the word uh, overall. Yeah. Awesome. And you just touched on there, um, you know, so great segue into this next one for me. Your app started in that Tampa area only. Is there anything unique about the Tampa dating scene that you're able to share? Yeah. So actually my partner, Matt Spaulding, who's Weaver's CTO, he's based in the Tampa Bay area. And so when he joined, he had pretty like deep connections in the area. And he's the one who said, Hey, you know, why don't we focus in on the Tampa Bay area? And then I did some digging and that coupled with the fact that there's been a lot more young professionals coming into the area in recent years, big yep. time. Um, and so I think, I think in any city, there's a really good kind of, there's always going to be singles, there's always going to be relationship seekers, no matter the city you're talking about. But I think everything kind of aligned for Tampa to be our launching base. Yeah, that makes sense. And I know we talked to them or kind of pre call that I spent some time there. I mean, I think it's a very vibrant dating scene, especially for a younger crowd with everything. So I think it's a pretty solid launch spot for you guys. So yeah. it's awesome. Uh, so last question then is, uh, and I guess it's kind of a, a two part here is, is how does the future of Weaver dating look? Um, you know, how quickly would you expect members to grow or expand into new areas? And, and what do you kind of see as you look into that crystal ball as you've got it at this point there? Yeah, so we definitely hope to soon raise a, a funding round to be able to uh, more become established within the U.S. Um, in terms of the future of Weaver, I would absolutely love to become more than just the best tool for relationship seekers, because in the end, it's their dating apps are tools. They're not the end all be all. It's all about how you use them and the attitude you go in with them and go into dates with and everything. Um, but I would love to be uh, an educational resource as well. It's, no one teaches people how to date. There's no class of like, this is what a healthy relationship looks like. This is what you should be looking for in a partner. These are all green flags. And these are some really big red flags you should be watching out for. Yeah. So becoming more, not only a, a resource for connecting with the right people and seeing how their core values align with yours, but also becoming more of like a place to educate people really on how they should be dating, whether they do have bad habits that they're not aware of or refocusing their attention on the things that really matter most versus what are some things that don't matter so much that maybe they're putting too much of their focus on. And so that's how you really pass and miss out on a really good connection um, because you, you kind of get used to passing on the same types of people and those people might be great. Yeah. Um, 
And so that's, that's what I really hope out of Weaver. Again, kind of like my uh, relationship science passion and like sociology, my love for that um, kind of shows through. Um, in the end, the mission is to help people date better, not more. Yeah. Um, I want to save people time so that they can spend more of their time on the right people and less on the people that they, you know, would, wouldn't work out with. Yeah, no, that's a, I love the idea for the future there, right? And saving people time and making more of it with everything. So we're definitely excited to keep in touch and watch you guys as you grow and see, and maybe we do another interview at some point in the future to touch base then, but really thankful for you joining today to help give us some insight. And we're super excited to watch as you guys blossom, but thank you again for joining and we really appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate you. No problem.